Drivers are what allow your computer and your hardware to communicate with each other. Drivers are signed if Microsoft has approved of them and tested them and know that they work and that they're from a trusted place. If you've installed something, a new piece of hardware, and you got an error that said, no, oh, this device isn't signed, this driver isn't signed, or if you've installed something recently that was hardware related, it came with a driver, and you've started to have intermittent problems, you may have gotten yourself an unsigned driver that's causing problems. You can check for unsigned drivers using the signature verification tool. You open that from a run box. You can get this run box by pressing Windows key plus R and then you type S-I-G-V-E-R-I-F dot E-X-E. Click OK and you click start and you wait while this scans all your device drivers. Now the problem you can get into with device drivers is that say you want a device driver for an old scanner and you go to the manufacturer and they don't have one. So you have to go to one of those third-party device driver sites and you pull one from there that's supposed to work. Uh, it's probably not signed and if it isn't signed uh, it may even be worse than that. It may be that whoever programmed it, whoever created it, put some malware in there. And that could actually harm your computer just like any malware could. So if you're having weird problems you might want to just run this tool just to see if there's a problem. You can see that my files have been scanned and are verified as digitally signed. If you get something other than this, then you might want to go through there. The list will include the name of the driver and the folder it's in um, and the path to it. So oftentimes you can make out what that driver is for, you know, if it's in some sort of folder named after your printer or your scanner or your camera or whatever. So it's a good idea to check just to be safe and uh, get rid of any that are unsigned.